Welcome to part 16 of the tutorial series. In the previous episode we have seen how to include an existing raster music tracker module with its feature file into your assembly program and play one of the songs in it. And now not everybody is a musician and has already made raster music tracker file at hand. So how to find one? Well, there is the Atari Sound Music Archive. It is a huge uh, archive of several thousand songs for the Atari 8-bit. Not all of them, but most of them based on RMT. And they, there is a common format that is called the SAP format, the Slide Atari Player Format that is used to store the song information, the player information, plus some metadata uh, as a standard file format, no matter which uh, tracker or program was used to do the original sound on the Atari. For this SAP format, there is a file description and there are players available for virtually all platforms, including browsers. Uh, this is actively maintained by Fox, Piotr Fusik, and um, I have downloaded, for example, the Windows version. I've installed it here in my uh, tray, and you will see that in a second. So this is the format, there is the player, and on this uh, side here you can find all the songs. Currently, this uh, the original of this uh, song list is maintained in a subversion archive somewhere, so the page is currently somewhat outdated, but it doesn't matter. It contains thousands of songs, plenty of things to find for you. And it does have the ASMA DB, which requires a real browser, so I open this in a new window, and it allows me to search for my favorite song and see if it exists in the archive already. And here we have Delta from, the, uh, from Rob Hubbard, covered by Radek Staba himself the creator of Raster Music Tracker, and here you can look at the details. These are the details that are also encoded in the SAP um, file format, so everything here, like the size, whether it's mono, time, how many songs, and so on. And from here, oops, no, I wanted to go, just go back, I can go to Delta again, I can even play it here in the browser. So this is song one. Oh no, I'm not in the right player. This is in fact the <laughs> this is the um, Eclipse built-in restricted browser. So I have to go to ASMA, search for Delta, and here I can now actually play it. in a browser, so this is running a real 6502 emulation and Pokey emulation in JavaScript while we are listening to this and when we go back we can also download this and we get that SAP file and as you see there is an icon associated so I have the Windows ASAP player installed if I double click this the tune starts because down here I have now in my tray the as a player and it can also display the information in the file in a structured way and give you more information um, on the technical details like where does it load to, where is the player, how fast is it replayed and so on. So this is nice if you just want to listen to it. But we want to do more with it. We want to actually use this in our code. So let's get back, open the folder and put the SAP file here and refresh. So now we have the SAP file here. You see the sound editor icon like you did with the RMT file previously. So we can just double click and the built-in player in Woodson IDE will also start playing. This is in fact the Java version of the other player that I've included here. So this is one to one the same thing you hear on the web page or in your system tray. Here you see that is in addition to the RMT format which only holds a title there is additional information like an author and a date 
uh, available. <coughs> and now we come to the important thing. This all doesn't help you if you want to replay the Rasta Music Tracker program in your own code. Because for that you need the Rasta Music Tracker in its module in its original RMT format. So what you can do here is you can select the song you want to export and now you can export it in as a direct executable so you can run it from a DOS on your Atari or you can export it as an RMT file. As I mentioned previously the uh, RMT file is an executable and modules are by default relocated to a certain address. So here we have now to specify the address. Let's, let's, let's use 4000. We want the module to be at 4000. And then we get here an info that the sound file has been exported. So if we press F5 to refresh this, we see now there is also an RMT file. And we can open that RMT file and it plays just the same, except that we see there is no author and no date because the RMT file format doesn't contain such information. <coughs> okay. So, uh, and now if we want to include this into our own song, uh, into our own code, what do we have to do? Well, we have to create that feature file. To that end, we open it with the Raster Music Tracker itself. I have registered Raster Music Tracker in my file system as the standard program. So if I double click it here, it opens. Here we get a message. I will explain that in a second. The same you can achieve from the IDE if you say here open with system editor. And now we get this message. So what does it say? It says this is a stripped RMT file. Name of song and instruments are missing. And then it gives an information where in the memory this file will be loaded, which matches what we have entered before. So RMT as said as I mentioned in the previous section, is optimized for usage on the 64K Atari and there every byte counts. That's why an RMT file can or cannot contain uh, song title and instrument name information. So while the composer is editing it, he will be storing this information in the RMT file and then he will export a second version of the RMT file along with the features and say this should be as short as possible to save memory on the Atari and then you don't know what the name of the song was anymore neither you know what the names of the instruments were. But it doesn't matter, RMT will simply open this, give it a no-name song and the instruments will just be named 1, 2, 3 and so on. What we can do here is we can click here and actually give it a name again. Yep, don't start typing like this. So delta and I save it. So if we open this now again, and we see now also in the RMT there is a song title again. So again open it with the system editor. And now if we want to export this in a way that we can include it, like we did the music RMT in the previous episode, we go here to export as, and here we have this selection as a stripped RMT file. So maybe we call this delta, delta minus stripped, so we can show the difference later, and say save. And then we get now here this rather complex looking thing. Uh, you can specify the address for the export. If you use the relocator macro that we have seen in the previous episode, it doesn't really matter what you specify here. Typically you would use 4000. Then you have additional special features that you can activate. Please refer to the documentation if you really need one of them. And then you can copy this these features to the clipboard yeah and again so these features document which effects were really used so the player code will be small so in this case vibrato is used so the code for vibrato will be required oh sorry i clicked the wrong button i should have said export rmt stripped save it copy this to the clipboard 
and then say OK. So what we get here is we get an RMT stripped. Should have called it delta stripped. And we get the features. And for the features, we would now call create a file and call it delta dot feed. and put this there and you see it looks very much like the feature file that we had in the uh, previous example but you see there are differences which features are actually used. So then last but not least what's the difference between this RMT file and that RMT file so let's open these two and here we see that the original RMT file it is 1341 and it includes something like the name of the song whereas the stripped RMT file is around 100 bytes smaller. Yeah and with this you can use the complete ASMA archive find which songs are raster music tracker songs remember not everything is a raster music tracker song. Uh, you can open it in uh, Raster Music Tracker, add additional information like the title and the instrument names and export it as a stripped RMT file which is shorter with the features for usage in your own code. Yeah, and that's it for this so probably last worth thing about RMT. Bye!